Hello, hello, Websy Wongi here. Um, I'm going to talk about something that I was watching a video on YouTube just a few minutes ago and it just, it just made me start to think and a few days ago I had a dream about an old friend of mine and um, I, I still have questions, you know, if she ever came across my video, you know, like, you know, why did you have to do what you had to do? Um, not sure if it's right that I should mention her name, but uh, I'll just say her first name. Um, I know it's kind of intense to talk about, but something that maybe some of you have relate with people and you don't know what's happened to them and you're really concerned. But I'll start out by, um, sorry if I, my voice or whatever, it's just, I'm not tired or anything, I'm just in deep thought. Um, but yeah, for the longest time, since 2012, I've had this friend who's been on my mind on and off. Her name is Steffi. And, um, it, it gets to me sometimes, um, not the fact that she was my friend, but for the fact that all of a sudden, you know, I can remember the last time I spoke to her was in 2012, you know, when it seemed like there was slightly some stress in my life at the time, but um, I was planning on visiting her, I, th I think it was July when I last talked to her, 2016. 12. But anyway, story short, she did not reply to my message and she blocked me on Facebook. Um, but yeah, it's been five years since that's happened or July will be at five years. And it just gets to me that I, I don't personally know what has happened to her. Um, I've tried contacting her ex-husband and currently what I recently found out a few months back that she got a divorce from her husband and apparently she did not tell me at the time that I talked to her last in 2012 that she was going through some marriage issues but she right now is what I know of her she uh she divorced her husband and I, I, I just don't want to sound like I'm just talking about her but I just want to give my my personal viewpoint on what it's affected me and I just wish you know she somehow randomly came across my video today it'd be awesome but I don't see that happening because on and off I have these dreams and it, it's not the same ones but uh, yesterday it just I don't know it still hits me whenever I dream of her or involves her because I dreamed yesterday that I got a message from her son and he was saying you know pleading with me to go to I Ohio and um, see them and so I told my family in my dream that you know I want to go see her and I got my bike and I was going down the road and everything on the freeway and then I came to the stopping point and somehow you know there is traffic going on I stopped and somehow I lost magically lost my um my bike but anyways um i didn't get to see her and then i was walking with my bare foot and crying because i i wanted to see her and it just hits me because i don't want to sound like you know one of those friends or one of those people where you know you always want to be on their case and you always want to message them you want to he hear from them but ever since Steffi um, has stopped talking to me, I feel like ever since day one that she stopped. 
And there's been a few times I've actually seen her on Facebook. And like every time I would try to talk to her, somehow it wouldn't say this person's not receiving any messages. And that means you're blocked. But yeah, it's, it's personally really got to me, especially when I had another dream about her. And I just thought I'd share my whole experience. I feel like ever since she has walked out of my life and pretty much clearly doesn't want to talk to me or visit me or see me or anything, it's really, um, it, it made me go downhill. Not in a drastic way, but like, it just seemed like a lot of things did not add up. A lot of things went bad, horribly bad in my life. And it just it hurts because she was so close to me. She was like a sister to me, even though she was like in her 40s. And now she's probably in 50s, you know. And she has two boys. And last time I heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but she has a boyfriend. But anyways, it's... It's really sad because, I, like, I've tried to talk to her husband, and her husband said, you know, I don't know why she stopped talking. I don't know if it's because I was, my parents worked at a boarding school, and she didn't want anything to do with the school or people. But it's like, seriously, she was so close to me. And what one of the conversations that will seriously be stuck in my mind is the last conversation I had with her. It's like someone goes missing, and you talk to them. Um, she talked about how she, her music has changed and she wears pants. And at that time I started doing those things, changing my music, you know, changing what I dress, not just for the heck of it, but yeah, it was my choice. Um, but yeah, I told her that I would always be here for her and yet... And I told her I wouldn't judge her or anything. It's like after that, it's like she didn't believe what I was saying. It's like what I was trying to be there for her and her deepest hours. And I told her my situation. I was going through marriage problems too. So we both were going through a lot. I wasn't at the boarding school that she and her husband and boys were at, you know. But it's just the thought, what's happened to her? And I, I, I just want someone, I, I just wish somehow someone I knew, knew her and could actually talk to her for me. Um, but every time I try to reach out to her sons, if she can talk to me, no answer. And every time I try to talk to her husband, her ex-husband, he, he didn't know what was going on. So apparently something's going on. And then I would see on her Facebook when before she blocked me, she had all these new friends. And it's like, hello, where am I? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm that one friend that holds on so much to friends. But she she made a mark on me. She made an impression on me. And it I will never forget her, and when I have dreams of her, it, it upsets me, because there's a few dreams, and I'll close with this, there's a few dreams I've had of her, and she's ignoring me, and she looks like, you know, you know those dreams you talk to people that you know, and they ignore you, they look at you like weird, because like she's running away, I've had dreams where I would be in a store, and she'd be with her son, I'd be like, hi! And then one of the dreams before this dream, she was actually talking to me. But when I asked her why she stopped talking to me, she never responded. And I know dreams can be dreams, but it still gets to me. And somehow, Steffi, if you come across this video for the heck of it or a miracle, um, I just want you to know, please message me somehow. Please talk to me and tell me what is wrong. And I have sent her messages before she's blocked me. You know, do, hey, do you remember me? Um, what's going on? Why won't you talk to me? And I don't, I personally feel like something I did wrong. But I don't know.
maybe people just feel like they can't deal with things and they just remove everybody old out of their lives but I was trying to be there to support her so that's my take on that